Hello guys, uh, welcome back to part 4. I'm sure by now if you've watched part 3, so at least you're more familiar of uh, what we call multiple beds, single beds. But now, a question will arise and someone will say, but I follow cricket, I follow a uh, rugby, I follow, uh, what is this? I also follow tennis and I follow few teams on England on soccer. So what do I do? If, for instance, I do my betting, but I'm not satisfied with my odds, can I mix those bots? The question, I mean, the answer to that question is yes. So I'll show you that. You go to all betting, of course, to see all the sports. Let's say you go to soccer and on England, let's say you only follow two teams here or rather you follow this league only so in that day there's not enough uh, matches that are playing so what you do is you select your team let's say you have your own two teams as you can see here on the bottom it's saying on the bet slip it's saying two because you've selected two matches and then boom there are your odds 23 and you're not satisfied you know you only have 10 run and you want big monies you don't want 232 so you want to go and add more teams but question is um i don't have other teams to play because I don't know those teams. I only know this tennis match or this rugby match that will be playing today also. Can I put it in there to increase my odds? Yes, that's an answer. So let's say you are a rugby fan, for instance. Uh, I'm sure if you're a rugby fan, you understand these leagues. I don't know these leagues. I'm not a rugby fan. So you go to rugby and then you understand these teams. I don't know these teams. Rugby league, I don't know these. But if you're a rugby fan, you will understand. You will understand this. So... You get to this point, maybe you say West Tigers will win here, yeah, maybe this one will be a throw. As you can see there on the bet slip, it's written for because you have four matches, two rugby matches and two soccer matches. And then you go back and then you say, okay, I also follow uh, tennis. Click tennis. Don't know these leagues. If you're a tennis lover, you're supposed to know. And then you're like, okay, French Open. Let me check here on Rome, Italy. And then you know these people if you're a tennis lover. Let's say this one will win. Now you have five there because you have five matches that you've bet on. Now you go to your bet slip, you check your odds. Of course, your odds won't be there. The bonus won't be there because you've mixed. When you're mixing, you don't get bonus. So how do you see your odds? You simply erase the zero and just put one. And then those are your odds. Here, these are your odds. 9,910.90. So with your 10 run, you will get uh, 99,000 with your 10 run. So now you will be at least satisfied that you've mixed all your matches. You can see this gray shaded thing. It's a soccer ball there on the background. Soccer ball. This shows that these are the soccer matches. That's a rugby ball. Means that that's a rugby match that you've bet on. And then you just click submit. So that's how easy it is, guys, to mix. Yes, you can mix. Now let's go home again. I want to show you one more thing. I will make an example again with soccer. Soccer. What else can you bet on? On part three, this is what I showed you. I showed you on part three that, for instance, look at this first match that is playing on the 19th uh, at half past one. Everton versus West Bromwich Albion. You can say Everton will win, or you can say this one will be a throw, or West Brom will win. What other markets are there? Are these the only thing that you can bet on? That's a nice question, and the answer to that is no. Because you've probably seen people who are good at betting now, who are, you know, familiar with everything. They can't just bet. This is called a three-way market. This easy one. Whereby you say this will win or a draw or a West Bromish will win. This is a three-way market. As you can see, because there are three options. So it's a three-way market. There are more markets that you can bet on. You know, if you're not sure who will win, then there are more markets that you can bet on. This is what you do. You see this blue thing here? There's a blue thing here in each and every match. It means there are more markets for this match. You understand what I mean? For other match, you won't find us. Don't complain because it means that there's, there's, they don't have markets for that. But for this one, they are. So you click on this blue thing. When you click on this blue thing, this is what you get. Look at this. You get all those options. So now, I always tell people that it's always their homework to go to, the, to log in on their accounts once they have their accounts and make uh, and learn these markets so you can see these are all the markets these are all the markets you can bet so as i'm doing part four so i will only make example with probably three 
and then next week uh probably the other day when i'm doing part five and then take the other three take the other three and so on and so on because i can't finish these markets on the same day i'm sure by now you can see there are a lot of things you can bet on other than that three-way market a three-way market is here on full time see if you click full time you see this is a three-way market you get it here on full time everton will win and then if you want to say everton will win you click on everton but now you don't just click and then it goes there you click and then you say add to bed slip look at the look at look on the bottom on your bed slip it say one day. and then you come here and then you close you close this there we go and then you go back and then you go back again so now you click on leads this match you click on more markets if you want to click on more markets in this one let's not selected three-way markets as i'm here to show you on this page to show you um what are the markets that you can bet on so in this one i'll make an example with half time markets this one just click on half time and see what does this mean first so as a new person on betting and uh to get familiar with the platform you need to read you need to be able to read to understand what does half time mean half time mean a team let's say two teams are playing and one team let for instance here in this case leeds versus fulham fc leeds united versus fulham first half you know most there's a break in soccer if the score on the first half it's one nil leeds is it means that leeds have won the first half so if you click here on leeds uh let's say fulham will win the first half so you click on fulham and then you click on add to bet slip don't ever choose anything yet because if you click here this will mean that this is a single ticket now so all you do you click on full harm and then you click on add to bet slip and check what's happening there on the bottom you see it's going there it means you have two now just check your bet slip mm -hmm. just check your bet slip there you go that's your bet slip you can see that's your bet slip you have two teams that you've bet on but look at what you've bet on you see this one you've bet on a three-way market but it's a full time but this one is only the half time so this market now if half time the match ended not not you lost you lost before the match have ended basically that's what the market mean you only betting for the half time you don't focus on the full match but i will also tell you the advantages of the markets as we go by introducing other parts of the video as i have said this is part four so let's focus on part four because i'm introducing you on these other markets so first other market that i've introduced you is half time let's close and then go back and then let me show you other market I will skip this one because I feel like the video will be too long if I explain that one. I will choose first 10 minutes. I told you, you need to read when you're betting here. What does first 10 minutes mean? First 10 minutes basically mean what will happen in the first 10 minutes of the game. You understand what I mean? You can see a game has minutes. After 10 minutes, basically now you were betting, there was half time. Now we're focusing only on the first minutes. You remember half time market, the one that we just did, we were focusing only on the first half. After half time, your ticket, if your team that you said will win, the half time is leading, then you win. But in this case, here, let's say full harm will win. You click full harm and then you say add to bet slip. Oh, you can't add full harm here because you've added full harm already. See that note, that red note, that it means that you have full harm. You can't bet full harm, so you have to take it out here. You can't bet on full harm twice on different markets. So click full harm again and add to bed slip. There we go. And then go to bed slip here and look at that. What does this mean? This simply means that full time, I mean, our first 10 minutes, full harm will be leading. So you need full harm to score very early here. You are saying? Or... This is what you can do you can let's just close take full arm out you can just say first 10 minutes it will be a draw as we, it normally happens because many teams don't score normally first 10 minutes in the game it's always not 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 always but yeah sometimes most of the time so you say full arm will be a draw so if there's your leg one if a team wins and then this match on the first 10 minutes it's a draw then your ticket is through you win but look at the odds can you see the odds 
the odds are so low but i will explain why the odds are so low um when you bet why these odds of these markets are so low or rather let me tell you now and then i will explain on another part why the odds are becoming low in these markets and what's happening and so on and so forth it's because this odd has a probability of happening as i've just said that um it's always in, in many cases it happens that first 10 minutes a match is always a draw probably nil nil you understand so i mean first 10 minutes teams are still you know checking each other so this has more probability of happening so a bookmarker will never make the odds big here or he will lose the money you know what i mean these bookmarkers are also making money so that's why those odds are so low so if you bet with your 10 rand you will only get um 8 rand 20 plus your 10 rand back but nevertheless i will show you this thing guys I will show you this thing as we go further. I want to take it one step at a time, introduce you nicely. So today I introduce you on two markets, which is the first 10 minutes and halftime market. Of course, this one, you know, I've introduced it on part three. So on part five, I will continue by introducing these markets, but I will also expect questions as you learning this platform. Also, you know, I will also expect questions like specific questions on what, you know what I mean? On what to on what to on what on what to present on the next video you know what i mean like what you need specifically you know what you don't understand so yeah i will continue add more i will continue to add more markets and then i will teach you what does those market means but it's also guys your responsibility to learn these markets these markets are actually easier some of them though not all of them but some of them are actually is because these are it's english imagine this both teams to score it means two teams who must score see it's english but i will cover this on the next um on part five so yeah